coming when on video today and I am late. <laughs> I normally upload on like uh, Saturday and Sunday. I don't know when it's, this one's gonna be up, but yes, I basically, the entire weekend, I didn't even think of making a video. Of course it's raining. I didn't even think of making a video and I uh, only thought of it on Sunday. So yeah, I'm late and it's just for no good reason at all. I guess I was just kind of tired the entire weekend. Had some things to do and I just didn't think about it. So yeah, but here it is. Still, it is, as you can see, there aren't quite as many command blocks as there normally are. There are technically three systems here. One of which is pretty well known. I just thought I'd throw it in there because I think it kind of works good in combination with these, but that's a pretty common system. I think a lot of YouTubers have already shown off. A lot of people already know. But yeah, it's mostly about the first three. Uh, so this is pretty s much way simpler than the systems I usually make but yeah I will uh, go further on this because uh, I have some more ideas but uh, I thought I'd keep it to this for this video so basically what this is I'm gonna walk into the tall grass to demonstrate this and as you might see I went invisible and that's basically the point of this and whenever I'm in tall grass I'm invisible I go out and I wait a little while I become visible again so yeah this is basically just like a way to use this in maybe multiplayer or single player to hide from either mobs or players in tall grass that's pretty cool but it's not just tall grass it's also uh to kind of recreate things like shadows wait let's get visible again when you're beneath a block it has to be five blocks above you so four blocks high and then a roof then you're invisible six blo five blocks high and then a roof you're not invisible you're visible so i i got to demonstrate in just a minute so yeah here i I go invisible whenever I'm underneath this, so if I just grab this block and make this like one higher, actually two higher, you will notice that going underneath this, oh, this still makes me invisible, what? Because it might very well be the case that if there's any block above you, you're invisible, so yeah. Nope, it's just higher than I thought. Okay, so it's like six blocks. As the system is right now, you can edit how many blocks it is. I just thought it was four or five, but it's six. So six blocks and then a roof, you're invisible and anything more than that, you're not. Also, water. Water, you can also hide in water, it makes you invisible. Uh, once again, this is really cool, uh, kind of in... Um, Single player mostly actually because I did not make it player specific you uh, right now the way it works is it is testing for just the nearest person you actually would have to use some scoreboard commands to make it usable in single uh, multiplayer so that it would only give uh, make the person invisible in the tall grass otherwise the way the system is right now one person on the server goes in the tall grass and everybody goes invisible or just no no the nearest person with the command block but I'll explain this, sir, I'm kind of all over the place. Uh, I'll explain the systems, the, the way they are now, which is pretty simple. So this is just executing and all people uh, at the nearest person, I mean, it is test for blocking, uh, it is testing for a double plant block. So that's basically this block right here, the double tall grass block. If that's where your head is, it will make you invisible. And if it's not, it will, the invisibility will just slowly go away. So that's why I'm testing one above because uh, it automatically tests for where your feet are at but I want to test for where your head's at and then it gives you the effect 14 one one so it gives you for one second so it goes away pretty fast after you walk out out of the tall grass so the next one this one is a longer command this is executing at the nearest person at their head it is testing for the block of their head and then five blocks above it so that's uh, the block of your head, five uh, blocks above it. It's testing if that's the same as these five blocks here, which are air. So yeah, it's just basically testing if the blocks above you are air. And apparently what that means is that there have to be five blocks of air above you for you not to become invisible. And if there's four blocks of air above you, you do become invisible. So it's actually way higher than you thought than I thought. So if I want this to be not as high, I can just put this to three, and I can just make this eighteen. And now everything's lagging, and 
this still makes me invisible but now if I make this like too lower I don't know where the lag's coming from but yeah doesn't make me invisible and this should yeah this does and this doesn't so yeah you can just edit that height however you want and with uh, I actually forgot to mention this with both of these I actually have just a set block at the coordinates unpowered comparator so that this one keeps activating so it keeps giving you the invisibility and it doesn't just give you it once and this one is also giving you the invisibility but this one works slightly different so this is also setting um, this is do uh, activating a clock right here which is giving you invisibility um, effect because otherwise uh, this is inverted so it's actually when this is positive like the blocks are the same it's air and I don't want it to activate so I inverted it and when it is like not activated it will activate the clock which gives you an effect and when it becomes activated again it will trigger this command block which will set this block back to air so yeah if I just walk under here you see redstone block walk away sets back to air yeah and then this one's for the water once again just a set block unpowered comparator so basically setting this block to an unpowered comparator facing west uh, yeah and then we are actually once again executing at the nearest person we are testing for the block but this time we're testing for water so we're testing if my head is on the water so yeah and then when that is you should get invisibility but i didn't actually put it in there why that is because as you saw before i am actually still going invisible that's because of the previous system this one because when i am in water there isn't an air block block around my head which means that it isn't the same as the blo other blocks i'm comparing it to the five air blocks which also makes me invisible so i still wanted to show this but you yeah if you just put uh, this command this command in here you can use this one but if you use this one it works for both uh, under the roofs and for in water because then like I said your block isn't in an air block your block your head so it also kind of detects that and then the last one here is just uh, this one I've got right here this is the one I said is pretty well known like uh, this pretty old lot of people have done this already but I thought it kind of goes well with the entire going invisible thing oh it's uh, just like the simple minecraft grappling hook thing so yeah you just kind of throw it upwards and wherever the thing lands you get teleported so I can throw it pretty far and the way this one works is basically it's first testing if the entity with the name unknown is in ground 1b so i also have used this tag for hours which is basically testing if it's in the ground so whenever the little uh fishing rod entity which is that one right there it's called unknown for reasons unknown i don't know why it's called that but it's called that and it works and when it is in the in ground it will activate this command block which tp uh, teleports the nearest person to the entity named unknown just make sure you don't name any entity unknown because otherwise it will screw up the system so yeah, those are pretty simple. If you would want to make these multiplayer friendly, once again, not sure why it's lagging because this is on my PC. Most of the time I have a bit more complex systems. Uh, I, like I said, have been kind of tired the entire week and didn't think of it. There should be a new snapshot video coming up because there's a bunch of, there's been several new snapshots, not with huge updates, but I think it's been enough to fill a video with it. So yeah, that should be coming up. And I am still working on some bigger systems but they just take more time so the next video will probably be a lot better than this one uh, i'm still gonna i still hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one